My name is Russ and I'd like to share with you my personal testimony. When I was 10 years old, uh, I was baptized into the church and uh, I think for the most part that particular time I did it because all the rest of the kids were doing it. So I can't really say that I was saved. So for the next 25 years I kind of bounced around a little bit until I was about 35, 40, 35. And um, then I was baptized for real. And I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. And so after I was baptized, I thought, well, okay, now they're going to put me into some type of a program that would really help me to get a solid foundation of where I, you know, of where, uh, I should be going. But that program didn't exist at that time. And uh, it's not that it, through the years that I didn't go to several different kinds of programs in the, every church I've been in. Uh, because there are many of those. But it wasn't until about three or four years ago that things really began to come together for me. I was at a small church in Oregon, and two things began to happen at the same time. Number one, I, had, I felt the uh, impulse from the Lord to move, and the second thing was that He told me to do a Bible study. And, uh, of course, at that time I pulled a Moses, and I said, Wait a minute, Lord, I think you've got the wrong guy. And uh, so we, we, he and I give all these excuses and never heard another word. So during this time, we started to decide where we we're going to move to. And, and, and uh, we have grandchildren and children here in Southern California. So we said, OK, let's move back toward them. And so this went on and we started searching different places. I told the Lord or I asked him, I said, if you don't want me in this place, close the door. Well, he closed an awful lot of doors, and, uh, and at the same time, about uh, he kept coming back to me every one, four or five months and saying, do a Bible study. Well, by the time the third time he said it, I finally decided he was serious, and I had no idea how I was going to do it because I didn't feel qualified. Anyway, so the result of all of this is I ended up at, in this city at this church at this particular time because they had a special program and it was called the discipleship program. and uh, so and inside of that discipleship program was quiet times and quiet times consists of prayer reading the word meditating in the word and then writing in a journal what the Lord is telling you and uh, so this became actually the result of my the Bible study that he wanted me to do and I based the Bible study around that discipleship program of quiet times. And since that time, I, my growth and the growth of the Bible studies that I have been doing have been absolutely astronomical. People are learning a lot more. I have figured out where the Lord is leading me and what He wants me to do. And um, I, can't, uh, I, I can't think of being any other place and doing what I'm doing right now.